for many years I wanted to keep the studio as a, a safe and protected place and I didn't want to bring all the noise from the outside into my studio. In the last few years, I felt that between my, my activity, uh, my social and political activity, and uh, whatever is happening outside, I thought that it doesn't make any sense anymore to keep this um, separated from what is happening in the studio. And not only that I started to bring it in, I, I feel and I think and I believe that it brings uh, more depth into my art. I think bringing the outside world is, uh, can be seen in two, in two parts. First is the uh, painting themselves. I think started with my imprint series in which I use humble, uh, deserted, very simple materials and I imprint them on my canvases and create very sophisticated, beautiful, elaborate textures and images. And I, I thought it's striking to see how these kind of almost nothing materials are becoming so important in my art. And I think the other part was starting to do my painting installations, which as themselves create immersive environments and transform the surrounding of the exhibition or the installation into something else. see other people walking in it I can see you know sometimes they walk from one side and come out from the other side and you see the transformation on them and, and you see the change that is happening through the time they have to explore the installation. I think art in general and I think these immersive installations in particular brings people to experience something they haven't experienced before. It also opens their minds to and new experiences, new ideas, new ways of exploring and looking at art, but also at the world. So it's not only by shouting, you know, we should uh, fix and change this and that. It's by engaging people through the art, which I believe, I hope, can really make a difference.